Hi guys, Jasenia here and I am back with week number four of the hashtag JNC Fall 2022 collaboration. I'm what I'm not one of the fawns, but I am participating in this um challenge or journal. So I will try my best to link week one, two, and three down below for you can check them out. If not, just type in hashtag JNC Fall 2022 and you will see everyone's creations, all the fonts, and who's participating in this collaboration. So let's get to week four. I had them marked. Let's see. Let's show you that one. Week four starts right here. So I have coffee dyed paper. I love the way this looks. I did a little fussy cut of one of the leaves and I add it right there. Look at how pretty. I'm not in my regular spot because I'm at work already. I showed this one for week three, I believe. Vellum little envelope. And then I used my tag punch that I have and I put some gold cardstock there and that little image. Isn't that beautiful? I just love the way this looks right there. Then we have some more little fussy cut leaves we have this is a sticker no this is part of the the digital as well look at how pretty another one here i'm sorry i put these on here for i could know which one what week i was on so this is another fussy cut one this is a like a postcard and i glued it onto this aligned vellum paper look at this how pretty and then here, look at this, this applique. This is also coffee dyed. And this is part of the one in front that I cut apart. And then I put, <clears throat> I grabbed um, this colored craft stock, colored uh, brown card stock, or craft card stock, I should say. Oh my goodness. And then I used, no, it's not even, cards um craft card stock ladies i am so sorry i'm just all over the place today this is the gold card stock and then i put this image on there i cut it into like a tag shape and then i added some really nice beige ribbon that has these little hoops on the side i don't know what you call this but look at how pretty i just love the gold in the background and that goes tucked in here. I hope I made you laugh with this mess that I just said. This is another little um, circle image from the pad. I took some of the gold cardstock that I had left over. I had a little strip, so I added it there and I fussy cut these little butterflies. And this is coffee dye paper and then I had just crumbled it up and then opened it up so it has a nice texture to it as you can see you can see that it has texture to it then right here i added another little strip of the gold cardstock and then i fussy cut another little circle this looks like a wreath it's gorgeous i love this digital and then over here because she has the both ladies have like collages and stuff like that in their digital kits. So then I just cut this one out right here. I ripped this edge, not edge, the bottom part, then this side of the page, and then that top corner. And I just glued it right there on the, on the side, left it complete. I didn't fussy cut any of it, but I did cut this part, part out from the whole page. Then I added this other little white tag it has a little bit of glue sorry i'm really picky oh it gets me upset um so then here she has a pocket i have a pocket and then i added another tag with another number four that i should have took off and then this is part of the digital kit as well i used ladies so the the challenge was to use up the digital kits from dear julie julie and Kara brandon's creations and towards the end like 
this week number six is where we show the full creation of our journal and we are supposed to use every single bit of the digitals and ladies that's what i did there was like little scraps like this maybe and it was just because it was the white border around the page but i used up everything so here we have more of the the ribbon look at that it's kind of silk ribbon and then this right here look at that beautiful i love this i just realized that it reminds me of a trunk of a tree you know when you chop off the tree and you stay with that little stump that's what it reminds me of i didn't do any stamping i do i think i do have some stamps that'll go very well with this but on week six i'll have that on there not now because it's not part of it more coffee dyed paper we have more images over here i fussy cut at the edge I don't know why there's a shadow there and then check this out ladies oh my gosh i really like this i cut this out it looks like another little postcard i glued it onto the sides the left side and the right side and then this was another cut apart and i wanted to do it into a tag but i didn't want to use the regular size um the standard sta um huh, tag so i kind of fussy cut up on the top as you can see and i love the way that looks and i backed it up on the coffee dyed paper i still need to add a little hole right here and some ribbon and put it through there it's this is more like a belly band because look let me show you there we go so i will add another tag onto here and maybe place this one in another spot but this is a belly band not a pocket then right here I took some of the leftover paper that I was using and I kind of chopped it off the edge. I used a little bit more of the gold cardstock and I made like a little, what is this called? Flag, little flag thingamajig. And then here is more of the images of the papers. Look at how gorgeous. I love the way that looks. I should have had did it like to like a little tuck spot i don't know why it's the shadow there and then this one is kind of ripped right here and i this one i crumbled it as well but that's okay then right here number four we have this line primary line um writing paper <laughs> right here this was part of the scraps after i started fussy cutting some of the images and stuff I had this as scrap, so I just chopped it up from here. No, I'm lying. This is goes right here. So I just cut it off and I just use it right there and this right there. So I chopped it up into three parts. And I created this one, this beautiful leaf image into a belly band. And then this is from my scrap. So I did a little tag there. I probably won't leave it like that. I'll probably add some more stuff to that tag because it's too plain. I think I have a hole punch that has leaves. I'll probably just add some of those right here, like that. Ooh, just getting ideas, just showing you guys. <laughs> right here we have another coffee dyed paper. This is a pocket. We have a vellum envelope, and then we have more images in here. And then <clears throat> I added gold cardstock and the images our fussy cut and on top and look at i just love the way that gold comes out right there i hope you ladies like this too and sorry for being all over the place then this one look at this this is like a little journaling spot you i mean it's really little you can't really journal on it but you can put a couple of words on there look at how cute i just love the way this looks and then this is one of the postcard images. Look at this. Oh, and I forgot to round off these three corners. As you can see, this one is rounded off. And I forgot the other three. How did that happen? I don't know. But this one's beautiful. Look at this mushroom, wild cigarettes. What do you know? A toadstool from a mushroom? Nope. Look at this gorgeous i just love the way this journal is turning out and let me see 
Oh, okay. That is for next week, ladies. So I am not going to show you any more from the back. Because that is week number five. And then week number six is me adding other items to it after I have done the collaboration. Um, so stamping, um, some gold inking and stuff like that. So I am loving the way this is turning out. And I hope you all are too. This is my first time doing one of um, Julie's and Kara's challenges or journals. And even using their images. So I will try my best to link down below the weeks prior to this. Um, if not, like I said, just put down hashtag J and C fall 2022 and you will see all the other links and you will see all the other ladies creations. And thank you guys for watching. Bye now.